Hi, Nikolai. Uh, great, great to have you here. Um, we're going to ask you a few questions and, um, uh, about uh, how 3D printing, how you use 3D printing in, uh, in your industry. So um, do you want to talk about um, what you spoke about, uh, digital shortage? So it's uh, quite exciting, actually. Jewelry industry didn't change much for about 100 years. And then since the invention of the internet and 3D printing, there's been a lot going on. Uh, one of the things is that uh, the way we make rings has changed a lot. It used to be all by hand. And technologies like 3D printing have really, really changed that a lot. Uh, one of the things we do now is we use 3D printing to cut down the, t the time it takes to make a ring from a couple of weeks to just a couple of days. And it's drastically reduced the cost. What's changed and what's in interesting now is that we offer our customers a one-of-a-kind design and we're able to 3D print it before uh, we produce the ring into platinum or gold to show them a, a wax replica and this creates a lot of trust and uh, helps them see what it would look like before they commit to the purchase. Do you 3D print in-house or do you outsource? Do you do it in the UK or ship in or go internationally? That's interesting. We actually do both. Um, we have 3D printers in America for our American rings and um, they'll print and, and cast our rings directly and send them to our setters there. We are based in a, in a building called Bathtub to Boardroom. It's a, a co-working ecosystem. And downstairs there's a company called Fab Lab, which is a, a maker's lab. And uh, they have 3D printers that we use in-house all the time. Uh, but most of the time we're using specialized 3D printers for the jewelry industry, which gets that like, level of detail that we're looking for for a bespoke ring. So what are your future plans? We launched the company a year and a half ago and we've had some really good traction. Uh, what we do differently is that we focus on bespoke. So we use every single ring we make is, it starts through 3D printing. And uh, because we've had such a, such a good traction in the first few months, uh, we're doing our second round of investment through crowdfunding on Cedars at the moment. So the first round was a year ago and uh, we ended up getting 150 investors and many of those have gone on to be customers as well as brand ambassadors. And uh, now we're doing our second round. So if anyone's interested, uh, we're on Cedars right now.